Okay, we're going to go over page 29, which explains to us how to determine which lines, if any, are parallel or perpendicular. So we provide three equations for you, line A, line B, line C. And the question says, determine which lines, if any, are parallel or perpendicular. So line A is negative x plus 3y equals 1. Line B is y equals negative 3x plus 1. And line C is 2x minus 6y equals 4. So now, the first thing we're going to do to determine if these lines are parallel or perpendicular when graphed is to find the slope of each line. Now, to find the slope of each line, it's easiest if we put it in slope-intercept form. Only one of these is in slope-intercept form, and that's line B. So it's very easy for us to identify the slope of line B. But to identify the slope of line A, we're going to change this, which is not in any form, into slope-intercept form. So to do this, I'm going to isolate Y by adding X to both sides, and then I'm going to divide by 3. So here, I get Y equals 1 third X minus 1 third. Notice X over 3 is the same as 1 third X. Okay, so my slope for the first line, line A, is one-third. So let me add M equals one-third. Now we're going to identify the slope for line C. Now this is in standard form, and some of you may remember from standard form we can get the slope by putting A over B, and if B is negative, the slope is positive. So this slope is positive one-third. Okay, so I'm going to add that here. But then I'm also going to identify the slope by changing it into slope-intercept form by subtracting 2x from both sides and dividing both sides by negative 6. So y equals one-third x minus two-thirds. So not surprisingly, we get the same slope. So now we've identified each slope. Let's see what kind of observations we can make. Well, I notice A and C have the same slope. So line A is parallel to line C. But then notice line B has the opposite reciprocal. It flips and changes the sign. So both A is perpendicular to B and C is perpendicular to B. So to answer the question, A and C are parallel, A is perpendicular to B and C is perpendicular to B. Now let's look at the next question. The next question says, write an equation in slope-intercept form. So slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b of a line that goes through this point and is parallel to this equation. Now, if it's parallel to this equation, that's code word for has the same slope. So what is the slope of this equation? Well, it's negative 3. So once I establish that information, I don't need that equation anymore. So now I know I have a point of negative 2, 4 and a slope of negative 3. So now when I have a point and a slope, I go into point slope form. y minus 4 equals negative 3 times x plus 2. Notice, even though they want it in slope intercept form, I don't go directly into slope intercept form because it's much easier to go into point slope form. Now I distribute. And now I add 4 to both sides. 
So my answer is y equals negative 3x minus 2. Okay, and notice negative 3x, negative 3x, they have the same slope but a different y-intercept, so they are indeed parallel. Now, the next one asks you to write an equation in slope-intercept form that passes through the point 4, negative 2 and is perpendicular to y equals 4x plus 2. Now, if a line is perpendicular, then it has the opposite reciprocal slope. So first we determine this slope, which is 4 over 1. The opposite reciprocal would be negative 1 over 4. So we are looking for an equation that has a slope of negative 1 over 4, but goes through this point. So I get rid of this information because it's no longer necessary. And I am just going to try to find with a point and a slope an equation. Now if I have a point and a slope, regardless of what form they want me to end up in, I should start with point, slope, form. And they want slope intercept, so that means I'm going to have to distribute. Now negative 1 fourth times negative 4 is a positive 1. And then I subtract 2. So I end up with y equals negative 1 fourth x minus 1. Thank <laughs> you.